Hey, what's up everyone? This is B-Rad. I just got off work. I'm having some uh, homemade chips and salsa. Well, not homemade chips, but homemade salsa. I just got home and stuff, and um, I'm going to see what's in the fridge to give a review today. What kind of beer. I've Last few weeks, I've kind of go to the liquor store, I just grab whatever I think's good. Or whatever's cheap, whatever I can give a review. But first of all, let's get into the freezer and get the booze, liquor out. And uh, let's, um, let's, let's, give a, let's give a toast to our following. Like I said, every time I do this, I prefer just to, to, give, a, uh, to give a swig of whiskey for our fallen brothers and sisters. You sacrificed it all for a country, and it's a funny story. This Memorial Day weekend, I went to my dad's grave, and you know my grandparents, and um, we. It's a it's customary in a lot of cultures to share alcohol with um, you know uh, ones who departed, you know the dead, and uh, so I went out. I got a. Uh, I got some Coors Light, which I'm not a real big fan of, but uh, my dad, it's kind of beer he liked, it's kind of he drank, and uh, of course dad also liked a little bourbon. So what I got here is, and this is some really good bourbon, I think, I mean it's uh, nice and smooth, it's uh, not as uh, strong taste as most bourbons, but it is, I don't know, it's a... Uh, Lead Slinger's Bourbon Whiskey. Let's see where it's made at. It is made at... Product of the USA. Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, Moore, Oklahoma. Moore, Oklahoma. Uh, Lead Slinger's, I figured, you know, my dad was in the Air Force, so he's a veteran. Um, I had an uncle that was in the Navy. I didn't know this until I got to the cemetery, and there was... Um, um, well, someone said Ed, and then my last name, and uh, of course, you know, I did a shot with him also because uh, you know, fellow veteran. But this this lead lead slingers bourbon whiskey, um, more Oklahoma, and uh, hey, it's pretty good stuff. And uh, how appropriate that is for Memorial Day, lead slinger whiskey. Hey, here's Sir Fall on Tilvahala. Like I said, nice and smooth. Not as, uh, it doesn't have that bite, you know, like most bourbons do. Um, it, it's pleasant, you know, like I said, it's smooth. You know, I also drank it when it was, uh, you know, almost 100 degree weather out at the cemetery. So, you know, it went down just as smooth. Now I am a member of the Whiskey of the Month and I, they gave me this little sampler. And uh, I've had it for, honestly, I've had it for like three or four months, but maybe this is a perfect time to, uh, maybe this is perfect time to give a review on that, some of the bourbons, I think. They gave me bourbon and a, an Irish whiskey, I think. I don't know. Okay, I, I've got a, I got one, two, three, I got four different beers in here. Uh, I'm going to choose... I'll choose this one. This one is Star Trek beer, Imperial Porter. So we have a Star Trek beer, uh, Imperial Porter. Now, I'm not going to lie, I drank the other five of them, uh, you know, about a week or two ago. And, uh, I, I, I solely, oh, excuse me for, uh, I had to use both hands, I'm not, you know, I'm not as skilled as some of you YouTubers, like I said, this is my, uh, you know, I'm just doing this beer blog just for the pure enjoyment of passing on, letting other people know what some of the other beers taste like, uh, whether it be sometimes, hey, I go to the liquor store and I don't really have that much money, and Hey, there's a, a like a six pack for three or four bucks. I'd be like, hmm, let's see if this is worth 
the four dollars. You know, a lot of times they're sixteen ounce or whatever. But uh, Star Trek Klingon Imperial Porter. You know, of course, you know the Porter. You know, dark beer and stuff. And uh, let's give it a try. Now, it's not as, um, I guess for a porter or dark beer, you know, it's not as uh, bitter tasting like, uh, you know, a Guinness would be, I guess. Um, I'm not really a dark beer kind of guy. I mean, it, it's okay. Um, I went to, uh, gosh, let me see here. There was this brewery. And, um, gosh, where, where was it? Um, I don't know where it was, to be honest with you, but here's the place, Moe's. I, I think it's Beaver, Kansas, actually. Beaver Brewery at Moe's Place. Um, I bought this growler. Me and my wife and stepson took a, it was like a two-hour drive from where I'm at. And, uh. It's literally in the middle of nowhere, you know, sit right beside a co-op and stuff, you know, but <clears throat> I'll give a little review for this place. I don't know if you're ever in Kansas, Beaver, Kansas at that, uh, go, go, go check out this, uh, Moe's place. It's a small brewery, you know, and, uh, they serve everything on tap. And that particular day when I went there, they only had one beer on tap and I was like, oh man, okay. You know, like I said, I'm not a not not really a porter or dark beer drinker, but you know, hey, yeah, I mean, I I like to try things, so I tried it. You know, it wasn't bad actually. I used it to cook some chili. Never cooked chili before, but you know what? I used YouTube, took a bunch of people's ideas, put them together, went to work, won won the freaking uh, gosh dang chili cook off. Not to mention. I won the egg roll competition, and recently I just won the salsa competition, all by using videos off, off of YouTube. People, you know, I just took the best of all of them, put them together and everything, and uh, that, that's what I did. Um, a Star Trek beer, I don't, I don't know how they get around that uh, trade bar deal, but uh, hey, I like it. You know what, it's, like I said, it's not not as bitter as some of the, the darker beers, uh, Porter, you know, and... Um, it goes down really smooth. Like I said, I drank the other five a few weeks ago, so I already knew what it tastes like. But uh, as for, I guess that'd be considered a micro review, maybe. Um, you know, and I, I don't know how they get the past the trademark of Star Trek, but uh, I solely bought that beer because it said Star Trek on it. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. And uh, they got a bunch of other weird beers. That, hey, you know, I, I'll probably give it a try and let let, let all you know what it what it tastes like and stuff. And if this helps anybody out, I. Pray to God it helps somebody out, you know, I mean, like I said, I just started this just uh, for the pure joy of freaking, uh, you know, I get home, I drink some beer anyhow, so, um, you know, I, I share what I get and, uh, you know, whatever else I find, man, I, you know, like I, I'm telling you, you know, I'm sharing the lead slingers, whiskey and stuff, but, you know, I, I, I like to, every night when I get home, I toast one for the, the fallen, so... That's just me. I mean, you know, you do what you want. I mean, but this beer is kind of pricey. Man, actually, I think only, maybe I only got four beers instead of six. I don't know. It, it was pretty expensive. It's it's like, you know, at the liquor store, it's like $4 a bottle. So it was four times six. Well, no, that can't be right. It wasn't $24 because I wouldn't pay $24 for a six pack. Um, it was pretty expensive. It's it it probably a good three three dollars per beer. I mean, it, it is probably close to eighteen bucks. I ain't gonna lie. But I, I like I said, I, I sold it bought it because it said Star Trek Klingon Imperial Porter. You know, I grew up on Star Trek. You know, and uh, back in the day, days of James T. Kirk and Jean Luc Picard, and uh, even some of the, the new Star Trek movies, are good. But you know, like I said, I do this for the pure enjoyment of just passing on information to you guys i'm not making any money off this crap you know i probably will never be famous and stuff and one of the popular youtubers or nothing but 
I'm just a veteran that likes to drink beer and uh, I enjoy watching a lot of YouTube and and watching people give things like there's this crazy Marine I don't remember his name Billy Bob something and that guy just he's so he freaking I, I need to I'm gonna google his name I'll give it to you next time this this character freaking you know um, he does nothing but drink beer I mean he, it took like a freaking uh, a pick and 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 cracks open a, a pony keg turns it up and just starts chugging it I mean he's always chugging beer and doing all kinds of crazy crap it, it's it's really amusing to watch I mean you know the guy is purely patriotic and um, hey man he's a veteran and uh, I like him, so I'll get his name next time if anyone watches these videos, which I have no clue if you do or don't, but like I said, I don't put it up for, uh, I just put it up because I like doing this, and I've been watching some videos, uh, one of my friends turned me on to a guy who's a competitive beater, you know, uh, his name's uh, Furious Pete, uh, not only does he competitive eating, but he's a weightlifter and stuff, and he has, you know, all kinds of supplements and stuff, if you guys are into that and stuff, and, um, uh, another one, one of the guys up at work turned me on to was Ozman Reviews. So that guy is freaking hilarious. So I'm passing on some knowledge to you guys. Um, if you like, if you like my little video, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make more. And if they suck, I don't care. You know, um, I do I do it because I'm just trying to pass on knowledge to, or you know to you guys, whatever it may be, you know, like, you know, someone might try some of that lead, lead slinger bourbon whiskey, man, it's good crap, or that 17, whatever it was, made by Southern Comfort, <laughs> good whiskeys, okay, I mean, but I do, I do enjoy some Irish whiskeys too, so, Irish whiskey, tequilas, I mean, I don't know, by far I'm not an alcoholic, but I do, I do enjoy Sipping some booze, okay. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's what uh, that's what Marine Corps veterans do. We we like to uh, we like to you know taste <laughs> taste a little freaking liquor, man. That's kind of what we did when we were off time, man. When they let us free for limo, we just went out and you know we pounded as many beers as we could, had a good time, you know. And we all uh, looked out after each other. So I don't get that so much here because I didn't, you know, I have a lot of veteran friends but maybe I can make friends with all you out there especially I mean it doesn't matter if you're Air Force Coast Guard Army Navy it doesn't matter you're a veteran and uh, you did what a lot of people other you know don't do themselves so hoorah yeah I would get loud but you know it's uh, it's 1230 at night where I'm at, my wife's sleeping. She already came out. And probably thinking I was talking to myself, which isn't out of the nor ordinary. You know, I could be talking to myself, could be talking to the wall. I don't know. But I'm gonna finish drinking this beer. I'm gonna get some of my homemade salsa. I, I would make a video on that, but man, there's a thousand freaking videos on how to make salsa, how to do this, how to do that. I don't need to give you. And plus, you know what? Let me tell you something about watching YouTube. I'm a, I'm a painter. I'm a professional painter. I, I paint manufacturing. And uh, let me tell you what. There's a lot of people that put these videos out that don't know what they're doing. So it's kind of an embarrassment to, to watch people, you know, putting up videos that probably make money off these videos because they have, you know, so many hits and so many likes or whatever. And they don't really know what they're doing. But I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Whether or not it's accurate or not, I don't know. Because I'm not a beer freaking specialist or anything. I can just tell you straight when it freaking goes from the bottle into my mouth, down my gut, what it tastes like. Yeah. So, once again, gosh, man, I've been, I've been going at this for 15 minutes, man. My wife's going to kill me, so, um, well, not really, but she's probably asleep. But, um, I got to get up and go to the tag office tomorrow, and, uh, I need to go and roll in school. Stay in school, go to school, it doesn't matter how old you are, I'll give you that much advice. I'm 47, I went to school when I was 45, got my degree, now I'm trying to go on for my business, or 
bachelor's in business degree. That way I can stop being a grunt. You know, start sitting behind a desk and take it easy, man. My knees my bag game do like what it used to be. Don't get me wrong. I love being a grunt and I'm 0311 to, for life. But it's time for this guy to move on and make a little bit more money. Not to say I don't make good money doing what I do, but you can always do better. For me to you, simplify. Oorah. Till next time, give me a like wherever you, wherever the like button is. Thumbs up, thumbs down, I don't care. You know, if you give me the thumbs down, give you the, the finger up. I can tell you that much right now. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye.